The town of Coaldale is asking residents to give their input on a survey that will help determine legislation the town may want to draft once marijuana is made legal this summer. We can sit at town council in our meeting and guess and might not be quite right and so it, it would be good to have a good turnout on the survey and get some good honest feedback. The questions that the, the survey would ask uh, specifically have to do with the attitudes and opinions of town residents and less to do with specific regulations at this point. We'd like to know the, the attitudes and the, and the perspectives of residents prior to jumping to conclusions regarding any specific legislation that we might draft. Those who want to participate in the survey have two ways they can do so, online and by getting a paper copy from the Coaldale Town Office. Now, the survey is widely retail focused to asking residents about store location, store operations and the application process should a cannabis store be in town. It's as much an opportunity to clarify that cannabis legalization is coming and that we have to deal with it. Um, and in a local government context, we have a limited scope with what that means, so we'd like to know that people understand that and we'd like to know how they feel about it essentially. Since the survey will not include town representatives reaching out to residents, Croyle adds that the survey will not be statistically valid but simply a way for the town to examine certain bylaws even if there end up being none outside of provincial law. The province has sort of set out different uh, distances like 100 meters away from schools and healthcare facilities, that kind of thing. Does the population of Coldale feel that that's adequate or do we need bigger setbacks or smaller ones? The survey, however, is only one step in the town's attempt to get residents talking. We'll be looking at stakeholder uh, working groups next and then community workshops and then public open houses for whatever conclusions do come out of the uh, first three stages of feedback. And that'll all be discussed with council at the end of the road, which uh, ideally would be prior to July 1st. For Bridge City News, I'm Ben Matichuk.